नमस्कार टुडे आई विल डिस्कस द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ अर्थोकोनल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ मैट्रिक्स प्रूव दैट प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू अर्थोकोनल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इज अगेन अर्थोकोनल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव टू सीन दैट Uh, now see here uh, we come to us we to study impanel simmer rotations uh impanel simmer rotation what is in by impanel simmer impanel simmer rotation now see here questions kyon or examples define impanel simmer rotation so that impanel simmer rotations of a rigid body With one point fixed is commutative. Also find the inverse matrix of impanel simmer rotations. Solution: An impanel simmer rotation is an orthogonal transformation of a coordinate axis in which the components of a vector are almost the same in both the sets of axis. the new coordinate differ from the old coordinate by an infinitesimal amounts uh, mathematically <coughs> an infinitesimal rotation infinitesimal transformation is defined as x i dash x1 dash is equal to x1 plus y1 1 x1 plus y1 2 x2 plus y1 3 x3 Uh, x2 dash is equal to x2 plus y2 1 x1 plus y2 2 x2 plus y2 2 3 x3. x3 dash is equal to x3 plus y2 3 1 x1 plus y2 3 2 x2 plus y2 3 3 x3. xi dash is equal to xi plus y2 ij xj. Where summation is defined over the sum of repeated index j. And if not I J is the element of the matrix of infinite simmer rotations and R infinite simmer that is uh, second order terms in E in if not I J can be neglected. Hence, we write the equation A one as X one dash is equal to delta i j x j plus y small i j x j x i dash is equal to delta i j plus y small i j x j in matrix notations we write equation two as x dash is equal to i plus y small x where x is equal to x one x two x three and x dash is equal to x one dash x two dash x three dash i is equal to delta i j Y is equal to Y small i j and i plus Y small is the matrix of the infinite simmer rotation transformations. Now let i plus Y small one and i plus Y small two be two matrices of successive infinite simmer rot transformation. Consider i plus Y small one into i plus Y small two is equal to i into i plus i into Y small two plus Y small one to i plus Y small one to Y small two. Is equal to i plus y small one plus y small two. Now consider i plus y small two into i plus y small one is equal to i into i two plus i into y small one plus y small two into i plus y small two into y small one is equal to i plus y small one y small two e plus y small two. We see from the these observation equations we uh, that i plus y small one into i plus y small two is equal to i plus y small two into i plus y small one. This shows that the product of the matrices of two successive infinite simmer uh, transformation is commutative. Now to find the inverse matrix of an infinite simmer transformations. Consider i plus y small into i minus y small is equal to i minus i y small plus y small i into minus y small y small. I plus y small into i minus y small is equal to i. This shows that inverse matrix of an infinitesimal transformation is i minus y small. 
I plus epsilon inverse is equal to I minus epsilon. Uh, for orthogonal transformation, we uh, know that the matrix, uh, we know that its transpose matrix identifies the inverse matrix. Hence, we have I plus epsilon over inverse is equal to I plus epsilon dash is equal to I minus epsilon, where epsilon dash is the transpose of epsilon. Consequently, we have epsilon dash is equal to minus epsilon. This shows that the matrix of infinitesimal transformation is anti-symmetric. Example, a constant vector x is given by x bar is equal to i plus j 4j plus 3, 2 into root 3k with uh, respect to a uh, particular co coordinate system find the form of the vector with respect to coordinate system obtained from the post by rotating it about the axis throw an angle pi by 3 in the anti-clockwise direction Determine its magnitude and compare with the modulus of x bar. Solution The matrix of rotation about x axis through an angle pi by 3 in the anti clockwise direction is given by A of pi by 3 is equal to 1, 0, 0, 0, pi of cos of pi by 3, sin of pi by 3, 0 minus sin pi by 3, cos, cos pi by 3 is equal to 1, 0, 0. 0 1 by 2 root 3 by 2 0 minus root 3 by 2 1 by 2 hence the new vector with respect to the new coordinate axis obtained from the post by rotating through an angle pi by 3 about x axis is given by x bar dash is equal to 1 0 0 0 1 by 2 root 3 by 2 0 minus root 3 by 2 1 by 2 is equal to 1 4 2 root 3 is equal to 1 5 minus 3 uh, x dash bar is equal to i plus 5j minus root 3k this the magnitude of this new vector is modulus of x bar dash is equal to square root of 29 this shows that modulus of x bar is equal to modulus of x bar dash and which is required solutions.